Now let's consider one more example before we actually move on because I want you guys to really understand the concept. For example, let's say uh, I have two containers or let's say um, a cup filled with water, okay? This is the best example that you can actually do it at your house or anywhere you live, okay? Anywhere you live. So basically you have cup A and cup C, cup B and cup C. If you pour cup, uh, if you have two cups, okay, A and B, let's say, and basically they're at the same temperature because you filled it from the tap, okay, and uh, you know it's the same temperature, and when you pour it into each other, on, suppose this is glass A and this is glass B, so if you have this glass over here, I, if you have this glass and you pour it into another glass, the water will not become cold, nor it will become hot. It would say the same as it was before okay so if you pour hot uh, hot water into hot water what happens is you will get the hot waters at the same temperature but what happens is when you pour cold water into cold water you would exactly get the cold water because they are in thermal equilibrium well the question that arises is that what will be the change in temperature well we know that it's in the same temperature so how do I know they're in the same temperature? Well, here's, uh, here's the introduction I've done to thermometer, okay? And we take it as a granted. We use thermometer to basically find the temperature of each and every object. So whenever you're sick, you put thermometer in your mouth and you check out the temperature. Now, basically, thermometer uses zeroth law of thermodynamics, okay? And we take it as a granted as well. You might be asking, why do we need to learn this? Because this is so obvious. When you place next to this and this, this over here. Well, let me tell you. When you when you go to a new school, okay, new school or a new neighborhood, what happens is that you're being introduced. Suppose here I'm be using going to a new school. So if when you go to a new school, a teacher, the teacher, your classroom teacher or homeroom teacher introduces you to your class, okay? And that's very obvious as well. Why don't you th think that that's obvious? Because this is the kind of thing that you need to do when you're teaching here. Since I'm teaching you guys, um, we're basically discussing. So I want you guys to get introduced to this law in order to build a thermometer. So you can feel like a scientist, okay? But, okay, now, the next thing that I will talk about is that the temperature scales okay now here in the moment ago I basically talked about three temperature scales which is um, engineering people use Celsius if we move on to advanced physics which I think we will and then we'll use uh, Kelvin scale then everyone the third scale is that uh, we don't really use it's not really important but you're introduced to it which is Fahrenheit scale. Now let's go ahead and start talking about the temperature scales here. So I'll erase the board up here. So basically we have what is we're talking about temperature scales okay now let's start off of our discussion with saying what is temperature okay now we know that when when you have an object which is pretty hot it has a high temperature and uh, when you know if you put an ice cream into a uh, freezer now what you're doing is the temperature is very low because it's cold and when you when you eat it with your spoon it's, uh, if you have sensitivity it might hurt in your uh, teeth tooth okay whatever you want to say now that's because the object is cold and you feel that cold into your tooth okay okay so basically you know that when a temperature is high it's basically hot when the temperature is low it's basically cold now you can tell that temperature is come it has some kind of energy because when you put thermometer into those kind of uh, uh, let's say ice cream 
it gives you less temperature because it reads some kind of energy so let's talk about that energy okay and it's not those energy that we talked about in fundamental physics is like lifting a marker putting force onto a power kinetic energy of a moving object okay now uh, temperature basically measures okay measures the amount the amount of kinetic energy that a substance has at a molecular level. Okay.